So after the uh, NDE, my life has changed. Uh, before I'm uh, I'm thinking that to please God, uh, like you know, the action is look like a selfish action, which is you only do for yourself. Like okay, I will worship more. For example, I will prayer more. For example, or I will study more to make me close to God. But uh, basically, uh, the message was no. Hello, greetings. My name is Yola Fanina Rahmi. So NDE uh, happened after one month fasting because Muslim have a one month fasting. Uh, I I start like uh, difficult for me to drink water to swallow it so the water is like difficult so it's a uh, coming out from my mouth the water so i do little little so so i couldn't sleep at all so i i was like more shaking and then i feel like i lost more lost conscious like uh because like my heart is like going up like like if you go to roller coaster you know the feeling like going like that but this is the opposite so it's going up the heart is going up i wasn't able to move or walk and then so it was like uh in the car also going to hospital like uh my father uh Mm, driving like panic like that and then I arrived at the emergency room so I was going up at that time uh, I feel I'm going up with whole my body uh, normally going up and then I see the doctor the nurses like uh, far away from me so I'm going up I see them downstairs there and then I go I arrived at the uh, sky so I met the uh, angel who greet me, uh, who greet me Assalamu alaikum. It means uh, peace be upon you. So, and then the angel was uh, happy, but the because the angel is very very tall. So uh, when I see with my eyes, I couldn't see the end because it's very huge and tall, and also it's like a. Uh, surrounding with the cloud or you know fog type I don't know so I don't see clear with my physical eyes but I know that he greet me and then I arrived at the first uh, first uh, sky and surrounding me it was like a very very col colorful and it's like a room but have walls and the walls are uh, moving and then I staring at the wall and uh, the wall pattern is the first wall is like leaves, leaves with so many uh, motif on it. So and then it's circulating and then there's a like, yeah, it's just moving. It's not stepping there. So and then I move to another wall. But I was staring for a very long time. And then I moved to another wall. I see a very ethnic, very ethnic pipe. The color was like, I think it was like a um, um, brown cream and then the uh, terracotta. And then I moved to another, uh, another wall. So it was like a big tree. But it is a sparkling turquoise green tree with like you know lighting and then we have so many branches and it was and there were birds also the I said like where I am and and the room is um also the I still remember now that the room is not like a square so it was just a uh, because you don't see the end like if it is square so it was like but it's also not round so it was just beautiful and all the walls is like uh, in a beautiful connecting one to another and then uh i going up again like i i'm going up again like 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 floating type but i'm very uh smooth moving to the second layers of the sky 
And then uh, in the second layers of the sky, they greet me again, the same greeting. Hello, assalamualaikum. And then it was surround me a very nice fragrance there. Very, very, it's a flowers fragrance. It's also like a herbs type or mask type of fragrance. And uh, it was like the wind, the fragrance moving like a wind. And also, so, and it is not only one. So it's circulating one time. And then uh, second uh, round, it's another different, very beautiful fragrance. Like I... Uh, I think I just stood up and uh, oh, so beautiful, and I I start crying because like it's just like like I sense of feelings like this is where I supposed to be for a long time, and then I move to another uh third layers, so this is like uh more of uh the ambience more cheerful. Uh, because I saw the cloud is like uh, moving and it was like a pink color, you know, like a little girl dream. So I saw, um, yeah, the, the, the cloud is like a cotton candy. So this is colorful and then uh, uh, I saw a rainbow also. And But the rainbow... Uh, the shape of the rainbow is very unique because uh, uh, I think it's uh, the spectrum of the color of the real rainbow is different that we see here. So it's more complex of the color and it's very gradient like uh, layers with the cloud. The cloud is moving again. The rainbow is still there. So I was like, a, you know, there's a music like a like a in music box if you play ting 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 something like that. So it was it was so cute. So like I feel like I want to jump there. I'm happy, like different mood. Uh and then but then I go up again and I couldn't remember that I went to seven layers of the sky or five layers but i'm sure more than four that it happened and then i see start seeing people there and they are just real uh people like uh, common people that we meet and some of them that i don't know them in the real life seven uh years before this happened which is at that time we were lost contact so yeah it's just a colleague so uh, I see her also and then uh, surprisingly so like the angel uh, coming to me and uh, asking me like uh, uh, did you know why they are here I said like I don't know why they're here uh, I said I will tell you so then the angel explained to me so these people are going to heaven um and then the angel says uh this man uh he was like on his 30s something and i remember the chinese guy he was tall and slim and he wear a bag bag uh and um, i uh and then uh the angel uh, told me that this man will go to heaven because he saved an old uh, woman crossing the street so uh, that action of him god love it so much and then uh, because of of that thing because of what he do to help people so it's very please god and then uh, he will go to heaven because of that uh, and then i said I understand and then uh move to another guy who is um on his 40s something so the god says like he is like sacrificing his own uh goal because uh, he's not married uh and because he has to taking care of his old mother there is one man uh, I remember that he hide his suffering uh, so in front of the 
people. He's always joking, make a humor. But then when he was alone, then he stopped crying and asking God help like that. But so, yeah. So basically, like uh, what uh, the angel told me that, uh, and don't think, a, you think you are doing a good deed, but basically what matters is the small deeds that you do you do for other people or for the humanity so that was it the experience so after the uh, nde my life has changed uh, before i'm uh, i'm thinking that to please god uh, like you know the action is look like a selfish action which is you only do for yourself like okay i will worship more for example i will prayer more for example or i will study more to make me close to god but uh basically uh, the message was no don't think of yourself think of the other people others god creation uh, people animals so do for humanity god doesn't need worshiping from humanity because he he is the creator he create everything so it just uh he he has the absolute power absolute truth and absolute uh, merciful so he knows what the uh, our weaknesses uh he knows uh so uh, I mean, like, uh, we worship him because we need him. We need his mercy. We need the, our uh, closeness of him. Uh, but the really, the action is for humanity and don't ever differentiate people, uh, no matter what belief, religion, social background. So God loves all of the creation and it is like a, a god territory who created us as a different shape different uh, ethnic group and everything and uh, nothing or nobody like more superior to another so everything is equal except like they are doing more uh, good deeds towards the humanity like that we have different life and it's all because of god mercy because uh god knows what awaits them so god will um uh will give them the reward in afterlife either maybe here also possible in the in this earth maybe so after some people life is ups and down people might be suffering for 20 years 30 years but we don't know if uh he or she not died yet. Maybe in the old days might be the beauty, the beautiful comes, and uh, and also remember that suffering itself is very. Um, some people have this kind of he or she himself make uh, suffering into his mind, but uh, you know some people have mental issue, right? They think that their life is very suffering, but uh, might be not for other people. Uh, maybe they're just uh, too much uh, complaining because of the, you know, the ego itself. Like you want, uh, for example, you people are obsessed of being uh, rich or be, being uh, famous. And then when they don't get it, they feel suffered. But actually, is, is it the real suffered? No, real real suffered is um, something else but if someone who facing a real suffered um so it means like god loved them and god uh will uh give reward in most probably in life after that's something very bare fruitful after they they've been suffering and patience so so because uh, in Islam, we believe even if you are going outside and you are get torn and then uh, it will uh, uh, erase your sins and you will get a more higher rank in life 
life after. So that's the the beauty of what God uh, uh make your life is not the no more no suffering if we see that it's all based on God's mercy. So we have a life full of hope. What make people suffering because they worship the fake God. So God themselves for them is maybe power, gold, money, uh yeah, having a uh, obsessed with something you want to get, maybe someone that you feel like you love her or uh you love him and you want him to be uh with you forever. So it means like you worshiping your ego, right? So it creates a suffering in life. So make sure that what we worship is real God that based on the merciful and uh, not based on your ego or I want this, I want this because uh, the problem of, of this world is nowadays it's all about me, 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 like I, 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 I what I want, what I, but uh, try to see uh, another way, like uh, uh, I want to do goodness to people or to animals, like taking care of them, taking care what is uh, needed to be taken care. And sometimes it, it's not necessary that, uh, for example, uh, some people have abundance of money, some are uh, limit of the money but it's not about the money itself it's the kindness what is matters and don't uh, don't uh, skip any good deeds that you can do like uh after maybe after i'm eating uh the rice left don't throw it uh to the dustbin but give it to the small animals give it to the birds the grains and everything so don't be mindful of what we consume and don't over consume because it's a uh, drained your energy and you yeah and the more we want because what we desire is never ending so well for example we already have one car then we start thinking another two car and then three cars and then you know, feeling like oh my car is not as nicer at the as the influencer out there so it's never ending but focus on the life time that god give you itself like make it you like your your being your existence in this earth is you know something that you really appreciate grateful and you do your fullest like make the intention is i do it for the better humanity human beings better worlds like that uh, if we are talking the about hell or heaven itself like it is belong to god because he is the one who creating right and um in islam we believe uh god is depend on what you believe he is so if you believe that he is all merciful how come he will send us to hell and punish us like that so um and the uh, hell itself maybe it just like um it, just in this world if you do something wrong and then usually you get some troubles so it's just like a uh, universe works like that. If you you are kind and always spread goodness, the goodness itself attracts to you and coming back to you. So uh, you will meet good people. And also uh, if you are doing always bad, harm people, and then surround you like all just negative energy surround you. So doesn't it mean like hell is already here also, right? It's depend on, uh, so don't fear of God punishment if you are a good person. So just focus on you doing uh, good people uh, as a good uh, person. Don't judge others. Don't think that you know uh, because God knows better of his creations and just focus on you and serve the community the humanity
we understand God by what he sent. So that's why he sent the prophets and also beside prophets, he sent a saint. Uh, so this uh, chosen one, the people, is a human being just like us. So we understand God, but by the messenger of God. That's why they call the messengers of God. And messenger of God is a, a, it's a, a lot, not only one. So like certain period of time, uh, this stand to these people on this community. And then, you know, uh, uh, because uh, at that time, people live longer, like 1,000 years, and then it's reduced. Like, for example, uh, again, another generation, then uh, God sent this uh, holy book for other community. So, yeah, like that. But the, the question of self, like, uh, God doesn't need religion, but God sent his messenger to make people understand how to live a life, how to rule your life, to to make God uh, uh, happy with. Because otherwise, if there is no uh, religion or there is no book, then how human can differentiate what is good what is bad because we have to make a same base according and i believe all the holy book only teaching a good things but people can be something else so if it is something bad it's not the religion itself but the people itself thank you so much for watching life after life nde so if i would I could say a message always loving to people, to all God's creation, and don't ever judge people. Don't ever assume something wrong, and don't let any negative thought on your head focus to build uh, your inner peace. So worship the real God because He is the absolute guidance for you, and be grateful and thankful for whatever God gives to you. Thank you.